Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 4. In the previous episode, we... Well, aided the Resistance in rescuing a general from the Imperial Army. Yeah, I know that seems weird, but, uh... Well, turns out he was their inside man who had helped us out, so figured we'd return the favor. Guess that's a wrap. All the resistance members made it out safe as well. And the general? The interrogation was rough on him, but it's nothing life threatening. He's safe in the car. We'll take him to our headquarters. I think it's time he joined us as our leader. I see. Glad to hear it. Yeah, probably for the best. No doubt Major Burke sent information back to the Imperials to indicate that uh, he is in fact a traitor. We can handle the rest from here. You'd better get going. You're all in a hurry, aren't you? Yeah. We need to end this war before springtime, remember? It's a promise, then. My baby's counting on you. There you go again, mentioning family and getting a death flag planted on your back. Ah, right. You should know. If it's a boy, I plan on naming him Claude. What? I... I... Uh, I don't know if I really deserve to have someone named after me. Oh, come on, Claude. You're a war hero. He's got a point. You don't want him turning out to be a stick in the mud like this guy. Well, if he's a stick in the mud, he'll be a tough one. And that's good enough for me. Goodbye, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck. Why do I get the feeling... Guy, huh? Oh. Yep. Damn it! They're after the general! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna throw himself in front of it. Mika! <gasps> Mika! Is he... He's dead. What I tell ya, don't talk about family, especially if it's a wife and unborn child. It's just gonna get you killed. We need to move. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. These resistance guys are all just civilians, huh? No regulations to follow. No medals for their heroes. But if anyone's a hero, it was him. He ran on his own faith. We'd never have rescued the general without him. <laughs> but he had a reason to survive. You all heard him. How could he leave his baby behind? He lived a life to be proud of. He never turned away from doing the right thing. Not even when it meant death. One more reason we have to stop the Empire. We made him a promise. Yeah. Sergio, what do I do with all this cotton? Could you roll them up into little pieces? About the size of a fingertip. I soak them in alcohol for disinfecting. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Those are a bit too small, sweetie. They'll have to be a little bigger than this. But you said it had to be the size of a fingertip. He did say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot your hands are a wee bit smaller than mine. How about this? I need them the size of a hard candy. You've had those before, haven't you? Uh-huh. One of the soldiers gave me one yesterday. There you go, then. Just fill up the jar with cotton balls that size. I have to say, my job's gotten a lot easier with such a helpful little assistant. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> I 
wish I could stay here and help you all the time, Sergio. <laughs> I'd be happy for the help. Karen's skilled, but she's better suited to surgical matters. You'd make a fine nurse one day, if you wanted to be one. I guarantee it. I wish I could. Then I could stay with everyone forever. Oh, I'm sure you can. What's got you so uncertain? Her memories are coming back, and she's learning things. Oh boy. I see. That's everyone accounted for then. Thank you for the report. The ship will be back on course soon. Do what you can to help finish resupplying and prepare to embark. So, Squad E made it back in time. Yes, just as expected. But their morale seems low right now. There were some losses suffered in the local resistance group. On the other hand, the team seems more united in their goal than ever before. I'm glad they're on our side. But I'm afraid the key to the rest of this operation is... Ah! That's one of the block transmission lines. It's coming from Ship One. We're being hailed by the Cavalier! Put them through, now! Yes, sir! Captain! Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Interlude. The Witch and the Wolf. Okay. And another new skirmish. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get to the main mission, or maybe we'll just take on a skirmish this episode. Who knows? Let's see what's going Mr. on. Mr. Wallace, the Resistance wanted you to have this medal. Please accept it as a token of their gratitude. Ally of the Blue Rose. Where'd they get the materials to make it? Let's see. Got an improved cape. The story, you can go to the next page, so there's no combat in this one. But I may as well at least get some backstory on these two. Trials of XO. <laughs> I've tracked the Centurion's position to this area. Right where we want them. Uh-huh. So how do you plan on taking them down? Our goal is to capture the ship, not capsize it. Capture, capsize. You sure get hung up on details, my man. The snow cruiser is a beautiful piece of work, but it's not like you'll get to keep it. I get why Doc Belgar's taking a scientific interest in it. So what's your horse in this race, Forsetti? The promise. The promise? Primaria, I'll have you sortie as well. But know this, failure is not an option. <sighs> Nor shall disobedience be tolerated. Belgar's orders. Should you repeat the same mistake, you will be sent back to the research facility. <sighs> Whoa there. What do you mean by that? The laboratory is demanding we return their Valkyria. One of its top researchers, Professor Forster, has defected. Since then, our working relationship has been... strained. We've been ignoring their demands thus far, 
But should you fail to prove yourself useful on the Crystal Sea... Holy shit! Suck at this. Sure, you're an ace when it comes to war, but you don't have a clue how to treat a lady. I beg your pardon? What the hell are you doing twisting her arm like that before the final showdown? Seriously, what do you and Belgar think Cremaria is? A weapon. A tool. Nothing more. Look, Forseti, and you too, Cremaria. We're all comrades in arms, aren't we? What? Comrades? Of course. Live together, fight together. What else would you call that but comrades? So come on. We can afford to act like a team, right? <laughs> I think not. I want nothing to do with it. <sighs> Have it your way, Forseti. Carry on with your little plan. Uh, I'll say a lot of things about Vaults, but at least he's trying to keep the peace. You're nothing but a failure. <laughs> Just a useless defect. Like you two did any better. Perhaps I ought to return it to the laboratory. No matter. There's more where it came from. <laughs> Why? I gave them everything, and still they brand me as worthless. Am I truly nothing but a failure? Selvaria, you are the pride of the Empire. Prove your loyalty to his grace. Show the world your power. Help me. Someone, please. Save me. Hey, are you in there? It's that obnoxious man. I hear Fenrir in there. Which means you're in there too, aren't you, princess? I need to speak with you. I'm coming in, okay? No! Stay out! Well now, you okay in there? Are you crying again? Fine, my bad. You're right, it's rude to enter a lady's room without permission. Then leave me be. You could wait a millennium and still I wouldn't invite you in. Oh. So I have to stand out here a thousand and one years? Fine by me. You're worth the wait. <sighs> You've been through a lot, haven't you? Must be hard having to tough it out all by your lonesome. Why don't we talk about it and... Leave me alone! Sorry, no can do. What sort of gentleman would I be if I left a damsel in distress? Guess I'll just come back later. Care about is 
Your own twisted cause! Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! Am I intruding? My apologies. Belgar. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I can hardly keep up with these constant calls from headquarters. Sounds like the army is in quite a state of turmoil. They're withdrawing from the Gallian front as we speak. <laughs> ah, yes. I suppose that would be good news for you, to say nothing of Prince Maximilian falling in battle. After writing off Operation Cygnus as a trifle for so long, headquarters must be reeling. They're assembling all the troops they can muster to defend the capital. That must be why they want it back. I assume they'll be recalling the rest of XO as well. <laughs> the fools. They haven't a clue what creeps ever closer. If only they knew the truth of Operation Cygnus. They'd be throwing everything they have at it. But their ignorance is our opportunity. <laughs> Indeed. I trust you will succeed this time. Yes, sir. Now then, about your roles in the coming operation. Yes, my lord. I would have you rest for now. Leave this one to Forsetti. You will allow us to rest? But of course. You two are my trump cards, after all. I can't play my hand this early. You understand, do you not, the role I have given you? Yes, my lord, we do. We are yours to command. I'm glad you're taking so well to your calibrations. It'd be a shame to have to retire such valuable resources. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Hmm. Hey there, princess. Oh, come on, Fenrir, don't give me that. You and me, we're one and the same. Loyal knights sworn to protect our master. That makes us comrades too, right, boy? I don't recall knighting the likes of you. Nice view. You come here often? <sighs> It's nice to have a place to yourself. Growing up, I didn't have anywhere to call home. Sure, I was born into a wealthy house. Problem was, my mother was the maid. A noble indiscretion. Like most bastards, I was neglected, abused. One day I'd had enough and I ran away to the slums. It was a real cesspool. A place for the lowest of the low. But at least I was free there. The streets were my true home. I met new people, found friendship, even fell in love. If my mind's in the gutter, it's always gonna be in their gutters. Holding on to that helps me get by. How about you? You got a place like that? No. If I belong anywhere, it's under the knife. Ah, uh, that lab they want to ship you back to. Every day was a new experiment. They'd strap electrodes to my head, apply stimuli, and observe how I'd react. Needle piercing, water torture, sleep deprivation, cut me apart, put me back together, slice my brain. Easy. I get it. 
You don't have to relive all that. But that's my true home. I fought so hard to be chosen. But even now, if I fail again, it's back to the lab for more experiments, more torture, until my final sunset. Do you finally see? No one can understand my pain. Leave me. I have nothing more to say to you. Not happening. You think you deserve to be locked up in some loony bin? To hell with that. I'll never let those bastards have you. <sighs> right here's where you belong. And that's final. How dare you? Not in a million years. Not doing it for you? Huh? My pecs are usually a big hit with the ladies. You... Kerr! Yeah, you're right. I was a real hound dog. But not anymore. From this day forward, my heart is your home. And yours alone. <laughs> if you want somewhere to belong, look no further. When you laugh, when you cry, I'll be there. For all of it. <laughs> Fenrir! Teach this insolent oaf his place. Yeah. Ah, come on, boy. We're comrades, remember? <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, think about what I said, Cremaria. You do have a place where you belong. What a fool. Chapter 14. Azure Flame. Well, do I keep the story going, get to the next combat mission, get the upgrades and take on a skirmish? Or do I just go straight for the skirmish and then end it off there? Nah, let's go straight for the skirmish. It's an older one. That we didn't get to tackle the warehouse district, and we should be fine. Skirmishes are never that difficult. Let's see, yep, yep, business as usual. Let's see, two different pos places to position them, though. Hmm. Kind of exciting. Well, we're gonna place Dan there. We got the rooftop here. Obviously, we're gonna place Riley on it. Gonna put Kai in oh, one of these spots. Minerva as well. Keep up. Azusa. Raz. And that's all our leaders. Okay. I don't know. Tazaiga in here. here Probably don't need all these people, as is usually the business hmm. with this. All right. All right, let's do this, but first let me change up Riley's equipment back to the... Da, 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 back to the Sanders, but I'm actually going to use the M8R. It has slightly less anti-armor than the M9, but I never use the Sanders for anti-armor anyways. All right, let's do this. Squaddy, move out! Alright, what are we dealing with here? Yeah, like I said, thought, they're all on the rooftop. Which means the only way to get them through is down through the tunnel and up through here. Because we can't use any of our armor to capture the enemy base down here. Well, let's grab the cactus, see if we can't get him over to that tunnel, yeah, yeah. and scout out the area. So you got a sniper elite there up are. there. You got a tank right here. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, 
let's grab the cactus again and see what's down this way. Yep, I'm on it. So you got a Lancer right there. You got a Trooper Elite right there. Be smart and stick to cover. But that appears to be about it. Target destroyed. Good work. Follow my lead. Fall in. Fall I got you back. I'll go with you. Now, here's the question. Do I use the cactus, because it's already used up a lot of its AP, or do I just book it with these three? You know what? Let's try booking it with these three. Send Minerva in to scout out this. Yeah. See, Lancer Elite right there. Eyes up. A true display of skill. All allies have been taken out. There. Found the okay. Fire. That tank might be a problem. But if I use a defensive boost on Minerva, because I'm not 100% sure if Raz has the AP to reach here. You know what? Let's just grab Raz for now. Get him moved in. I'm a one-man army. Now we'll use a defensive boost. in order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack. Here comes the pain. Get in range. Die! I'll charge them. Cover me. I should have expected as much from you. Okay, don't know why you couldn't walk over this. Gotcha. But whatever. And then we'll just have him eliminate this. this guy. You ain't going nowhere. Wide open. I mean, I wasn't gonna miss no matter what. Your own damn fault. Enemy forces ahead. All right, got their base. And as usual, we complete the skirmish in one turn. Sorry, your butts are breathing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's probably an ace hiding somewhere in this mission that I could go after, but not all that interested unless I absolutely need the weapon they provide. Alright, well, that was shorter than I thought it was going to be. But I'm not going to go after the other skirmish because I want to save those for an episode where, well, an episode kind of like this where it's a whole lot of story and I don't have enough time to take on the mission or main mission. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'm going to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.